Hey everybody, Scott Mitchell here with InMotion Hosting and welcome to another episode of WordPress InMotion. In this video, we're gonna show you how to configure your WordPress after a migration. This video also assumes you've already created your new database and imported your WordPress database file. If you haven't done that, please do so. You're gonna need the credentials from the database in the configuration. So to get this, we can get it from the database category in the cPanel. Log into your cPanel like I've done here and find the databases category. From there, click on the My SQL Databases icon. All right, I've already created my database. So you can see I have a database here, the name. I have the user of that database, which you're gonna need that too. Now I have the password written down. Hopefully you do too. If you don't, click Set Password here and give it a new password. So we need the database name, the username, and the password for the user. Once you got that written down, you can leave this area by clicking home. It takes you back to the main area. Now we need to go to the file manager. So find the files category, click on file manager. I'm going to the web root because that's where my WordPress is installed. And show hidden files is checked even though I don't really need it this time. I always leave it checked for good measure. Click go. All right, so here I am in my public HTML folder and I'm going to find the WP config PHP file right here. I right click on it and I can select edit or code edit from the menu. You can also select edit or code editor from up top. Either way is fine, it's the same tools. All right, I hit edit again and it opens up the file. Now the database information is just below the comments. I'm gonna highlight it for you. Right here, these three variables, the database name, the database user, and the database password are the three we're gonna change. Now you can see this shows my old database information. Old database name, old database user, and old password. Using the new information I just wrote down, I'm gonna replace that. Now notice that the database name and database user always start with your user, cPanel username. I tend to name my user and database the same if they're unique, meaning I have one user for that database, I don't use them in other databases, um, feel free to do so. And then I'll change the password from the old password to the new password. Now once you've changed all these, go ahead and hit the save button in the corner and it'll save this information to the WP config file. Now, you should be able to go ahead and visit your site, and with the new configuration information, it should connect nicely to the database and display your WordPress data. And that's how you change the configuration information for WordPress after a migration. Thanks for joining us for another episode of WordPress in Motion. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe to the YouTube channel below. Also, don't forget to leave any questions or comments you have in the comment section below so we know what to bring you in future videos. Thanks and see you next time. Did you know the InMotion Hosting Support Center has thousands of articles, pictures, and video tutorials to help you out with your web hosting questions? There's something for everyone, from beginners to experts. Join our community and sign up with your Facebook or Google Plus for free swag, prizes, and discounts. Visit our support center at InMotionHosting.com support.